One night, the Lord appeared to me in a vision and he asked me this. If I gave you the ability to do anything for me right now, what would you do? And without an ounce of hesitation, I responded like, Lord, if I could, I'd invade the Middle East, load my lungs with serenity and lullaby bullets of love into the minds of men which would assassinate the animosity as they sleep. So when they wake, they think their conflict was just a bad dream and realize that no one has to die to rest in peace. And since I'd be across the seas, I'd visit every destitute child in every third world country, feed each one individually with so much faith today that they would have no choice but to save leftovers of hope for tomorrow and the day after I'd ask for you to sign my permission slip to die so that I could field trip to heaven and borrow your eyes to lend them to every little downtrodden girl who attempts to use society's mirror to define her worth instead she'll see that everything looks perfect when using your high definition my god if you can give me the ability to do these things i just want to show the world the love that you've shown me i, I want every human being to accidentally walk into your hood wearing the wrong colors so that you can bang on their hearts with love and show them your signs and wonders. But before your peace blows them away, I pray that your glorious majesty causes them to keep their hands raised, making it more convenient for you to elegantly rob them of their sorrow and pain. But before I could finish my next sentence, he interrupted me with a type of silence that would make whispers sound like screams. I said, I'll do anything you ask. Name the task, state the price, I'm ready. And then he calmly asked, when have I ever withheld the pouring of myself upon you? Never. Even as I speak, your countenance helplessly drips of the fragrance of my love. But you, you want to wait until you get your budget together before you travel across the world to spread it. When right here in this very room, neither your children nor wife can even remember the last time you said it. You have next door neighbors that you see daily. They've never heard you mention my name. But I guess that'll all change if someone puts you on a plane and flies you out to a city to spit poetry on a stage. Son, listen, I need you to understand that I cherish your desires. But why are you so eager to get your Christopher Columbus on? You're so desperate to circle an earth that you think revolves around you that your whole perspective of the world is flat out wrong. Then he asked, do you trust me? I said, I do. I, I trust you with my life, with every breath that I take. He said, okay. And as long as that remains the same, whenever you are, wherever you are, it is never a mistake. That means your school, your job, your home, where you stand, sit, or lay is where I had you strategically placed. Do not be dismayed. I'm not giving you an excuse to be complacent. I'm providing you with a reason to believe me, believe it or not. I want to use you to reach the world, and I plan to show you how. But you've been so obsessed with trying to do something amazing there and then that you've neglected here and now Please stand clear. The doors are closing. and then I woke up dressed myself with uncomfortable humility and came to this very place just to tell you and me that we through Christ will do extraordinary things. But never let your relationship with God, family, church, or community to become a floor mat for your next big quote unquote opportunity. Take advantage of your current situation. I'm not saying be stagnant, but don't assume the journey isn't as valuable as the destination. You may not have a record deal, but you are already signed in the Lamb's Book of Life. You may have yet to clothe an orphan in Somalia, but you can tell a child on your block that Jesus loves them and watch them put on a smile like a sweater on the coldest winter night. Why allow your purpose to become extinct because you lack the grander things, making fossils of your callings, but let this poem become the archaeologist that brushes the dust off your purpose. And I know you gotta be patient because it's not quite your time. And that may be true, but God is preparing you with what you have right before your eyes. Can't you see 
While some are putting in work on the mission fields of India, we, yo, we could be getting it in across the streets. But without even mentioning the streets, I promise you, even as I speak, there is someone right here, right now, who is desperately in need. Someone's hurting. Someone's bitter. Someone's bound and needs to be set free right here, right now. There are bodies that need to be healed. Minds that need to be renewed and souls that may only know the love of God through someone named you. And of course, there will always be people 7,000 miles away who are seeking for a touch. But there may be someone sitting right next to you at the edge of depression who would give anything, anything for a hug. Just a hug. We must learn to embrace the beauty of now. The most dangerous people walking on this planet are not terrorists. They are the people who are called by God yet refuse to walk in purpose. No matter where you are, no matter what you're going through, say, do, and be everything that God has called you to be, no matter how crazy that sounds. Because why would you wait for there and then when you can begin right here, right now?